Hi, we're from Line City Sailors Football Club and we are a proud partner of Match for Life 2020. If you'd like to find out more about the Bone Marrow Donor Program and this wonderful initiative, check out the links below. Thank you and welcome in joining us for today's workout. My name is Robin Chitraka and here with me is Shay. We will be doing a Tabata workout which compromises of a 30 seconds work and a 30 seconds rest. Let's start the exercises. For the first exercise, we will be doing a jumping jack. I will demo the first jumping jack exercise. Okay, you can watch. Ready? And let's go. One, two, three. And it will be for 30 seconds. Okay. Well done, Shay. Very good form. Good tempo. Well done, Shay. As you can see, Shay is bouncing up and down continuously. Well, well done, Shay. And for the next exercise, we will be doing a squat. So we will be in a good position, we will be in line. Look at your toe, it cannot be above your toes. Okay, your knees cannot be above your toes and we are going for 30 seconds this way. And Shay, ready? You can just do a bit of warm-up first with the exercise so I can correct your position. Maybe you want to try a little bit first. Yes, very good form. Well done, Shay. Okay, just hold on and ready and let's go. Well done, Shay. For these exercises, please do not rush. Take your time. And what you gotta feel is this your hips over here going backwards and thrusting out every time you push up. For our third exercise, we will have a kneeling push up where you go on your knees and you will do a press up in this position. Make sure that you are in a good position in a comfortable position before you do a press stop. Okay, Shay, you want to be in position? Well done, Shay, good. If your knee feels hurt during the exercise, you can get a towel or a mat to place it underneath your knee. For the next exercise, we will have lunges. We will be doing a stationary lunges. As you can see, my knee never goes above my toe and your body has to be upright at all times. Okay, Shay, you want to try a little bit before we start? Yeah, so you can stretch a little bit further. Yeah, stretch further out. Yes, good. Well done, Shay. And let's go for 30 seconds. Good. Try to stretch a bit further. Yes, that's good. Well done, Shay. As you can see, he keep his hands balanced. Don't forget to breathe here. For the next exercise, we will have high knees. Where we will be going, we will be jumping and touching your thighs on the left and the right continuously for 30 seconds. You want to stretch a bit before we start. Okay, good shape. Maybe slow down a little bit. Good tempo, yes, that's fine. You can also place your hand in front so that you're always touching, yes. So you don't have to go so high.
For the next exercise, you will be doing a side-to-side -side crunches. You will you lying down flat on the ground and you'll be touching your heels continuously for 30 seconds. Okay, you want to get down on the ground. So get into a good position. Raise up, tilt your neck forward. And you can begin. So he's touching his toes at all the time. His ankle, just tap your ankle. For the next exercise, we'll have shuffle on a, on a fixed position. So I'm just shuffling to the side with a little hop. Look at my standing feet, it's always hopping. So I'm hopping before I change my feet. Let's go Shane, you want to try a bit first? So you got to hop a little bit. So you want to hop a little bit. Look at my feet, it's always bouncing on second bounce before I jump. Yes, well, well done Shane. Okay. And let's go. Slow down, Shane. You don't have to be speed. Yeah, speed. Hold on. Hold on, Shane. Hold on. For the next exercise, we go down on the ground again. We're gonna do leg lifts for 30 seconds. We just gonna lift it up. Of course, you're, oh, you gotta make your you gotta tilt your chin forward. You're just lifting your feet up and down. Yeah. You can use your hands to balance yourself. Let's go. It's straight. Yes. Well done, Shane. Good job. For the next exercise, we'll be doing a plank. So we go on a we go on a prone position. And we fixed it. And remember, we gotta activate our core. Make sure it's tight on the on the uh, our abs and on our back. And we keep it in this position for 30 seconds. For the plank exercises, you gotta tighten up your core and your back and your glutes, which are important to hold it there for the next 30 seconds. Next exercise will be the crunches where we will put our legs up and we're just going to go and do our crunches this way okay you don't go full back you just go halfway and you lock it there make sure your abs are tight at all times and you're going for 30 seconds again You want to get up there and you go higher a little bit. Okay, I'll just lock it there. Hold on.
And let's start the second exercises. For the intensity, you can actually increase or decrease. It's up to your, it's up to your capability. Okay, for the first exercise, again, we're going to start with the jumping jacks. Just going to do jumping jacks. Let's go, Shing. Well done. For the jumping jack, we are actually working on the endurance. So it's also good for your flexibility. As you can see, you are bouncing and you are also stretching your muscles at the same time. Well done. Keep the form going. This is good rhythm from, from Shane. For the second exercise, we will be doing a squat. So we're just going squats again. If you are able to do it quick, it's really good. But don't forget to thrust up. So if it's too easy for you now, you can easily just thrust up so that the intensity is higher. Or you can slow down if it's too difficult. Good rhythm, keep the rhythm going. Good. For the squats, we are working on the glutes, your quads. Well done, good job. Next, we have the kneeling push up. For this exercise, we're working on your, your chest and also your arms. And let's go. For those who find it easy, you can easily just try to touch using your chest to touch the ground and push all the way up so you get a full range. Well done, keep going. For the next exercise, we have the lunges. So again, reminder that the lunges, your knee doesn't go above your toe and make sure you try to keep your body upright using your hands to balance concentrate on your landing and let's go for the lunges, the important is the form so remember, reminder again, not to Get your toe above your, get your knees above your toe and try to keep your body upright. Try to use your core to balance yourself. Next is the high knees. This is where you are working on your endurance as well as your calf. At the same time, for those who cannot do it, you can always just slow down and not do too high. But those who, are, who find it easy, you can always do it at a better pace. And Shay will show us a good pace. And let's go. Well done, Shay. Well done. Keep this tempo going. And now he slows down. This is a slow tempo now. You can do a slow tempo, yes. This is slow tempo where you don't have to raise it all the way up. So you're working on that endurance and your calf. Well done. Next, we'll have a side to side crunch. Again, we are touching our heels. And do not forget to get your chin up and lock those cores and we start touching side to side 
For those who find it difficult, you can always lie down and just start touching your knees instead. For this exercise, we are focusing on your abs, your lower abs, and your upper abs. So, the thing with this exercise is to always focus on your breathing because it's gonna it's gonna start to feel the burn. Well done. Next, we have the shuffle in place. So, for the shuffle in place. Look at my feet, my standing feet is always in the same place and I'm always bouncing at the same place. As I get better, I try to be in the center all the time and I use my hands to balance myself. Three, two, let's go. Good, well done. If you find this exercise too easy, you can always increase the pace and if it's too difficult, you can always slow down. Well done. Next, we will have the knee lift, the leg lifts. So you can either put your hands behind or use it to balance yourself. Just gonna do a leg, uh, leg lift. At the same time, I'm raising my chin. For those who find it difficult, you can put your head down and just try to raise it. Well done. This is good position, good form. Now, if you find it too difficult, here you can put your head down and rest. Use your hands to put it aside to balance yourself if you want to. Yes. Done. The next exercise, we will have the plank. And again, we're going to hold it there for 30, 30 seconds. For, for this exercise, we are trying to engage your core. We're gonna try to engage your core and your glutes. So try to keep it there for 30 seconds. If you find it difficult, you can always put your knee down and lock it there. That's good. As you can see, he's in a very good position where it's straight. You want your back to be straight and not slanted or or in a U-shape. So it's important to actually engage your core and your glutes to keep it there. Well done, this is good form. Last exercise for this round. You'll have the crunches. Okay, lifting your legs up. Again, we want to be hitting this. You want to keep it there first. From this position, we are doing our crunches. Don't, we don't want to go all the way down. We're just going to hold it there and just keep it going for the next 30 seconds. Focus on your breathing.
the third and final set, let's increase the intensity and improvise in our exercises. This is the first exercise we're going to do, the jumping jacks. We're going to do a full range this time round. Let's start the timer. So this time we're going full. Try to increase your speed. And we now the full. We now have to organize and and she has modified his exercises by jumping and turning. Well done, keep it going. The next exercise we'll have the squats. We're gonna do a squat with a little jump. We're gonna do a full squat still. It's still a full squat with a little jump up there. Okay, we're gonna try this for the next 30 seconds. She so just prepare yourself. Remember again, this exercise, you gotta land light because you are jumping now. So please land light. Three, two, one, and go. Land light. Well done. As you can see, he's landing, he's always going down and not being upright when you land, land soft. Well done. For the next exercise, we'll have the push-ups. For those who find this easy, for this modified push-up, we can do the full push-up. But you can do it slow because we're going for 30 seconds. Or if you want to do the modified push-up, you can try to Touch the ground. Go all the way down and touch the ground. So you have two options to increase the intensity of the push-up. So maybe you want to try to touch the ground with your chest. That's good. That's a full range. Now you have you are, you are required to do the full range. And this is good form from Shane. Yes, this is the standard push-up. And this is very good exercise. Good form from Shea. Well done. For the next exercise, we will be doing the lunges. We will be doing a normal lunge. And for the last 10 seconds, we will be doing a jumping lunge. Okay, ready? Shea, get in your position first. And for this lunge, do not forget, your knees do not go above your toes at all times. And when you are jumping, please land safely. Okay, ready, and Shay, let's go. Stationary lunge first. Well done. For the stationary lunge, do not forget, your knees cannot be above your toe at all times. Your hands are to balance. Always land lightly, and don't rush into the exercises. And for the last 10 seconds, we're gonna do some jumping lunges. Let's go, Shay. Well done, well done. Again, land lightly and not rush into the exercise. For the next exercise, we'll have the high knees. Again, you want to do a little bit faster this time around. You can be swinging your arms and doing the high knees. Okay, for this time around, Shay, maybe we pick up a bit slower before we increase the tempo. Okay, so we touch our thighs first before you increase the tempo with a full sprint. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go slow first. Well done. Okay, now maybe you want to take it a bit higher. Well done. And the next one, we can do the full sprint. Okay, we do the full sprint now. Let's go. Good. Well done. And maybe you want to bring it the tempo a little lower again. And for the last 5 seconds, we go full sprint again. Let's go, Shay. Bring it up. Well done. Well done. And stop there. Well done. For the next exercise, we will have the side-to-side -side crunches. For the side-to-side -side crunches, I mean, we are touching our heel, but this time, maybe what we can do is, we want to raise it a bit higher, we keep it in a fixed position at all times. 
before you touch the top of your ankle instead of touching your ankle where it's lower and you keep in this position For this exercise, we want to feel our abs being engaged at all times. Well done, keep it going. Next four, three, two, one, and rest. Well done. Next, we have the shuffle in place. Again, we have to be in a fixed position where we are bouncing in the same place we should be better by now so we can go a bit faster now and by swinging your arms too okay so maybe you want to try bouncing on the same direction so it's fine okay we have four three two one let's go yes you can swing your arms It's good tempo, keep the tempo going, keep it moving, concentrate on your breathing, swing your arms, 3, 2, 1, and rest. Next, we have the neck, uh, leg lifts again. For this exercise, if you want to improvise and if it's too easy for you, maybe you want to go up and touch your toes. Okay, maybe Shay, you can try touching your toes now. Well done. Well done, focus on, concentrate on your breathing. If it's too difficult, please go back to the first leg lift again. And well done. For the next exercise, we will be, having, we will be doing the plank. But this time round, we're going to do a modified plank where we're going to use our hands instead of our elbow. And we're going to keep there. Again, reminder that we have to engage our core and our glutes to keep it there, to hold it there for the next 30 seconds. Okay, Shay, you want to get yourself ready? Thirty seconds. Just keep it there. Again, reminder to engage your core, to engage your glutes, and to keep it there for the next thirty seconds. Focus on your breathing, and not to wor to worry about your the burn on your abs. At this point of time, I'm sure all of you are going to feel your abs being burned. Well done, he's doing a good job. He's keeping it there. Focus on your breathing. Next, we'll have the crunches. For those who find the crunches too easy, we'll do a moving crunches where we're gonna extend our hands and legs. And we will do a full crunch this time. Where we are taking it in and out. Good. Slowly. Well done. For this exercise, you got to coordinate your hands and legs. Go slowly. Don't rush in this exercise. Again, if it's too difficult, go back to the normal crunch. So maybe Shay, you want to take the normal crunch again? Just do the normal crunch again. And well done. That's all. Well done everyone, I hope you guys had a good time. Please keep supporting the Bone Marrow Donor Program and Match for Life. On behalf of the Line City Sailor and Shay, we'd like to thank you and hope to see you really soon.